The holiday season is here and shoppers are turning out in record numbers to get a jump on the best deals, spending a record $10.8 billion on Black Friday. But a new documentary reveals the true cost of over consumption on the planet. It's called Buy Now and was released on Netflix last week. The film explores how brands make mindless purchasing too easy and what the consequences are of buying more than we need. People say, oh, I gave my clothing away. They imagine that away to be something abstract. But for us who are working on the ground, away is here. Uh, Joining me right now is Flora Baganal, who produced the documentary. Uh, Flora, great to see you. Hi, nice to see you. All right, so you've worked on a lot of documentaries, but um, I'm wondering what's what's the genesis of why this one and why now? Buy now. Yeah, this this one was really, this has been a very special um, documentary because it's got such a huge platform on Netflix and it's an environmental film and very much from the beginning of the start of the project, we wanted to do something that uh, felt different, looked different from the kind of environmental films that people see um, out there. And we just wanted to capture people's attention. We wanted to use the color and the, uh, you know, the, the language of advertising to pull people in and tell them a story about the world that surrounds us that we don't necessarily see, but it's always there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people love a great deal, you know, but when they look at the consequences of mass production, you, uh, you know, reveal to them, just as we heard the woman talk about all of these clothes, all this fabric showing up on these beautiful, what were pristine, beautiful beaches in West Africa. And they are now, you know, stuck with all of this trash, so to speak. Um, you know, that's eye opening for a lot of people. How do you how do you expect, you know, consumers to see what is now the consequence of mass production? And I, I think that's exactly it. It's scale. And the documentary is all about scale. And you'll notice when you watch it that we have these big you know, graphics, these big pictures of these huge scenes. And you know, some of it is created by us in order to um, give a sense of what could happen if, or, or what it would look like if all this stuff that we buy was around us. But as the film goes on, you know, the images become more and more real. And, and you see those pictures in Ghana, which are you know, completely undoctored images yeah. of what's happened to this beach. And it's really about the amount of stuff. And obviously, individually, we buy stuff. We, you know, we, we need things. But when you times that by everyone in the world and you look at the way that shops are kind of pushing all this stuff, this conveyor belt of stuff, mm-hmm. when you think of it in those terms, hopefully, I think it changes stuff for people and, and it feels different. And, and when you say stuff, it's, un, it's not just clothes, you know, the stuff that we wear, but it's other, there are other things that are... Um, unmendable things, as you put it in your documentary. I mean, which is essentially a lot of trash that we're buying. Might be a great deal, but then it's not built to last. Then it just either fills up a landfill or, again, ends up at the bottom of the ocean or on a shore. Yeah, exactly. And we we and as when we were making the film, this was something that we kind of saw everywhere. It's, it's not just you know, clothes, it's technology, it's toys, it's just the things that we buy in the shops that we might need for something, I don't know, a birthday party or whatever it is. But quality is really a big issue here. And if you're going to make things cheap and at scale, then the thing that often goes is quality. And then if something doesn't last for a very long time, then you buy it. It wasn't very expensive. It breaks. It's annoying, but you chuck it out. And I think that's where consumers have a bit more power to make some more choices around the things that we buy and just not falling for stuff that is probably not going to last very long and is going to end up getting ditched. Through, through this documentary, you know, by now, you're hoping to incentivize us to do what or think about what before our next action of buying? Well, I think there's various different points that we want to capture people. We want to capture consumers and people who are kind of in this, all of us, me included, all of us, you know, and and just get people to think a bit more about the things they're buying. But we also wanted to capture, you know, companies, people working for companies. We wanted to capture that corporate space and kind of look at the role that some of these big organizations, these fashion brands, these well-known tech brands, these, these kind of friends of us who are producing all this stuff and 
who have some responsibility to play as well. We'd, we'd love to capture the you know, the attention of lawmakers, the people that make, you know, have the power to change some of this stuff. So we're trying to kind of get open people's eyes across the scale to what's going on. And then we can all have a conversation about how to change it, hopefully. Flora Baganal, uh, the documentary is by now. It is very much eye opening and intriguing and disturbing. But that's the intent, right? Yeah. yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great rest of the holiday.